This is Super Yacht News with Eve Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we've got a good news story, seeing as it's Friday. You may remember the story from earlier in the year, uh, a yacht that was stolen in Croatia. Well, that yacht has been found and recovered partly due to our news video here on Super Yacht News. And what makes this story even more amazing is that the yacht was found on the other side of the world, pretty much, from where it was taken. I think the owners credit the power of social media, helping them to retrieve the yacht. And it would appear to be the case, as our video seems to have alerted the people who eventually spotted the yacht thousands of miles away. Of course, they deserve the most credit, as they are the ones who got involved, which led to the vessel being seized by the police. Anyway, we'll give you some backstory. Now, Back in July, this was July, or I can't believe it was all, it was so long ago, uh, we ran a story about a 17 meter, 56 foot Hans yacht, uh, Hans, H-A-N-S-E, 588 yacht named Mischief, was stolen from a marina in Croatia. And the yacht was privately owned, but it was chartered out through a charter company named Croatia Yacht Charters. This is quite common, apparently, to make some extra money that people charter out their boats when they're not using them. The people who stole the boat booked the boat under false passports. They used the captain whose papers were legitimate, but they sent him off for dinner ashore, and then they pulled up the anchor and disappeared. They switched off the AIS and other systems on board so the vessel couldn't be tracked. Now, it pretty much went dead after that, the trail. The last sighting that we that we were informed about was the vessel was in the Ionian Sea, and then there was nothing. And it did seem at that point like that was the end of this story. Uh, even to the owners, we kept in touch with the owners and they were you know, very upset. They had a Facebook page, but they were very upset and they felt like the boat had gone. So there were two Russian couples on board the yacht and it seems they sailed the vessel to Morocco from Croatia and then eventually they crossed the Atlantic, arriving in Brazil sometime later. From, from information that they've got from on board the vessel, it would appear that the vessel was going to be heading to the Caribbean, where they were going to try and sell the vessel uh, once the storm season was finished. The people who located the vessel, who wished to remain anonymous, said that they saw the boat and they felt like something wasn't right with it. Their, their gut instinct was that it was the yacht that they knew that had been stolen. By watching our video. Now after watching our video they joined the Facebook page of the owners who had uh, reported it missing. They said that they knew something wasn't right with the picture. There was a young girl on her own staying on board and they said the yacht looked very neglected and it shouldn't have looked like that. It should have looked well cared for as it's a new luxury boat. They also noted that some of the things that we pointed out in our video to identify this boat, such as the telescopic passerelle, which is a, a rare feature on this type of boat, they noticed that this boat had that. So then they contacted the authorities and they convinced them to investigate. Afterwards, when the, when the police had seized the vessel, they put the owners in touch with people on the ground who've been assisting with the investigation to have the boat released from police custody to get it back to Croatia. Now, the police released a report uh, after the investigation. The investigation is still ongoing, but the boat has been recovered and they released this report. It's been translated from Portuguese, obviously. It says the vessel was rented to would-be Russian tourists who took the vessel. They took it to an unknown location and changed its characteristics, renaming it with the name Albina. They also prepared fake ownership and registration documents in Russia. The sailboat set sail from, uh, to, for Brazil from Morocco and docked in Natal on the 20th of September with just two crew members, a Russian captain and a sailor from Lithuania, uh, who dropped anchor at the Natal Yacht Club and paid in advance for 60 days of stay. Now those two people then left the territory about a week later by air, uh, with the vessel being inhabited by a woman from Latvia. Now after inspection, uh, it was found that parts of the aforementioned sailboat presented similarities with the vessel stolen from Croatian waters. And the boat was seized based on the fact it had false documentation. The person arrested on board has been prevented from leaving the country. And they're saying that those involved will be responsible for the crimes of using false documents to Brazilian authorities, receiving stolen goods, and even money laundering. Now the investigations continue in co cooperation with Interpol and Europol. 
So we spoke to the owner about the condition of the vessel. The owner obviously hasn't received the vessel back yet, but have seen photographs. So the owner said, from what we can see, she is in okay condition. She just needs a good clean, some TLC and a few touch-ups. A more thorough inspection will take place, of course, uh, once they get the vessel back to Croatia. The, the plan is to have the boat shipped back to Croatia. And, and also the owner said, of course, we're delighted. We knew it would be a long shot finding her, but we never gave up hope. Now to the people who spotted the boat and, and, in, and actually got the police to uh, seize the vessel. If you're watching uh, and they watched the previous video, so we'll assume that they're watching. Uh, I just want to say bravo. You're the very best of us because not only did you identify this boat, but you actually uh, lobbied the uh, law enforcement to get involved and to actually get the boat back to her owners, the rightful owners. So I say bravo to you. All right, so we'll move on. We've got one last thing. Uh, Motiak Koro, we've been tracking her across the Atlantic. She has finally made it across the Atlantic and is moored in Port Everglades. Now she set sail from Gibraltar on the 9th of November and arrived in Florida on the 23rd of November. So a allegedly two week crossing then. It would be interesting to know how much of that crossing was done under sail, if any. I would assume they did use sails. Uh, I think they, uh, I think the, uh, the weather is, would have been good for that on the way over there. The vessel is a fully functional sailing yacht. What do I mean by that? I mean, she can move uh, under sail alone, unlike other vessels that call themselves sailing yachts, like Sailing Yacht A, for instance, which can only use the sails to assist the engines. It would seem that the captain is going out of his way to hide the location of the yacht, um, turning off the AIS or blocking the AIS from the web-based AIS trackers, and even having Port Everglades removed it. Well, it seems like he had the, the Port Everglades website removed the name of the vessel from uh, the web page because we did find it on there. And then uh, all the next day after we put out our video, it was removed from that website. Maybe there was another reason, but I can't see one. Um, but, you know, it turns out it's not easy hiding a 127 meter sailing yacht from the world. It is the largest sailing yacht in the world as well. Um, the yacht will most likely end up in St. Bart's uh, on New Year's Eve, though, as that's the place to be for yachts, it seems, in the last few years. All right, our latest Q&A has just been posted on the Patreon channel. It says, can crews who have enabled going dark on AIS and not transmitting AIS have negative outcomes in the future? If you would like to see it, along with the Atlantic vlog crossing over to the Pacific, join us on patreon.com slash esysman. You'll find behind the scenes videos and extras not published on YouTube, including behind the scenes videos from our recent trip to Italy, Monaco and France. We also recently made a video showing how we make the Super Yacht News videos, as well as the Patreon chat series. And you'll also get early access to YouTube features advert free. Don't forget to check out our Super Yacht News channel. If you type at Super Yacht News into YouTube, you will find the channel there. There's also a link below in the description of this video. This channel is all of the goodness of these videos chopped up into smaller bite-sized chunks. We also now publish the full video, the one that you're watching right now is also published on that channel too. All right, guys, if you've got any information about any of the stories here or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch in the normal fashion. You can get us on the email address below in the ticket. You can get us on the About page of YouTube channel. Get us on Instagram and Facebook Messenger on Twitter. You can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.